Right, now we'll do the last part, or the next part really, of the conservatory. I've still got the windows to sort out. Um, this is the plastic ceiling. Now, a cladded ceiling, simply a pulse ceiling, a suspended ceiling, whatever you want to call it, is a bit of a drawn out job, repetitive. Simple, but repetitive, um, and takes quite a while. So I'm going to do a video and show you in detail all of it. Um, at the normal rate, would probably take about an hour or more in video, which is far too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very fast run through how to do it, just pausing at the points where it will be of interest. Now what I'm using is a standard Tenmo cladding board. And it's 250 wide by whatever length you decide to buy, um, 10 mil thick. That'll be fastened to a latted ceiling. Now I'm using roofing lats, it's what I always use because it's treated, it lasts a long time, um, and it's a good stable material. It's nice straight pieces. Um, so I'll put a framework of that up first, making sure it's all nice and level at that point. Going in the correct direction, which is obviously the opposite direction to what you want your cladding boards to go. Then I put the cladding boards up with the wiring and the lights. Now, the cladding boards, I attach them simply with a staple gun, an electric staple gun. Now, ordinarily, we use trims around the edge, a two-piece or even a single trim around the edge profile, um, which hides imperfections around the edge and also helps hold the edges up. In this instance, I don't want to because it's going to make funny appearance of the tops of the windows because it's so close. So I don't want to. So what I'm going to do is cut them as a tight fit as I possibly can, leaving me just a fine silica bead all the way around. Now when doing that, that means you haven't got anything for the starter. Your first piece when you put it up, you're stapling one side of the 250mm, not the other, and you can't fasten it. So what I do is blob silicon. Pop it up, hold it, and then move along. The last one, same again, blob silicon, hold it up, and then go down. Okay, let's go to it. You'll understand what I'm doing as I'm going. And as I said, I'll slow down at the point where there's something of interest. But otherwise, we'll just get through and you can see what it looks like. So come on, let's go to it.
foot tall. So this is a gold bone. If I take up 8.5 centimeters, it will be lovely. Now, I don't know if you know this, but most decent panel saws come in the exact 90s and 45 on the handle. Very useful. But check them first, make sure. The cheaper ones say they are, but they don't. This is Irving, it's not cheap. So I assume it's done. Now, if you want to check it, mark it, turn it over, and do it again. If it looks correct, then it's square. Yes, yeah, that's correct. Coming in, it's always a very fine tooth panel saw, as fine as you can get. Um, <coughs> and keep it low. Not like this. Like this is going to jump out of the other side. Keep it as low as you can and you're scoring your way through it. When doing down the length, sometimes when it's exactly straight, you can use a standing knife and just score it and it'll cut through. But if you hit one of the ribs, it'll send you off. So be careful going down there. I'll still use the panel saw. Now you notice I have my blade very slightly like this. It's so that when you put it up, your contact edge is the face edge. The back edge isn't pushing it away. That takes the back edge back a little bit. So it just puts a little bit of an angle on it. Now when silicone mount edges, usually I don't use any fancy gadgets, I just use my finger and some um, washing up liquid, nice and easy. But round here, I don't want to be going around with any kind of washing up liquids and stuff afterwards. So, I've got this kit, which I use on other jobs like this. And it's just a spreader, is this one? Gives me the curvature that I want and leaves it reasonably clean. Um, and then the applicator, which puts it already pretty much to where I want it to be and then I'll just go around and finish it so I've cut a nozzle so that it fits this tightly like so and it won't keep falling off and all you have to do is press that in and watch what's happening as you're going around Now that is how to put up a cladded ceiling, PVC cladded ceiling, framework and then your boards, lighting and edging, whatever edging you're going to do. Very simple, very quick and in this situation it has added to that sound dampening. Right, okay, well if you've got any questions put them in the bottom, otherwise once again thanks for watching, 
See you again next time. Bye for now.